Today we're going to be talking about the best neighborhoods in a city not very known to many people yet called North Lake. The city of North Lake is north of Fort Worth, Keller, Haslett, all of those cities, Roanoke, and I would like to say that the greatest potential for growth and a really good investment is going to be North Lake. And the reason I say that is because there's not even a grocery store there yet. However, you can go to Roanoke, Flower Mound to go grocery shopping, which is about 15 minutes away, but don't write it off because there's no grocery store yet. I have to say things are popping up all the time, conveniences, dentists, and things like that. But again, it has the most potential on the Fort Worth side. Hello, my name is Dana Pollard and I'm a real estate agent here in Texas. And I've lived here since I was four years old and what I want to do is share with you the best places to live in Texas and I'm continually seeking and discovering cities all the time. So if you are thinking about moving to Texas, want to move here, fill out my dream home questionnaire in the link below. And guess what? We also have a Spanish questionnaire. If Spanish is your first language, feel free to fill that questionnaire out because we do have a fantastic Spanish speaking agent and lender that can help assist you move to Texas. So let's talk a little bit more about the city of North Lake. Okay, so North Lake does not have a downtown area quite yet. However, some of these neighborhoods are developed in such a way, especially by Hillwood development, by the way, they are developed in such a way that you feel like you're in a, a small town anyway. So they'll have their own amenities, their own community center. And so I wouldn't write off North Lake. Also, North Lake covers a lot of acreage in the area, which means as more homes are being developed and businesses are going in, they're going to have money funneling to the city, which will help them to develop more things. And so several years ago, actually way back when, <laughs> 10 years plus, I felt like Frisco was gonna be one of the top cities. This is like, I'd say 12 years ago when houses were selling for $150,000 in Frisco. And look, it is now super booming. It is a hot spot. So on the Fort Worth side, there are not as many cities that have that kind of potential, but North Lake is one. So if you get in early, you'll get in good. There are some cons about it though, traffic being the number one because they are doing so much construction trying to expand the freeways and side roads so that they can plan on this huge population growth coming in. So those are a bunch of just random thoughts on North Lake, but let's get into the best cities in North Lake. Oh crud, I forgot to talk about the schools. <laughs> I had I have a script for the neighborhoods, but I don't for the intro. So all that being said, the schools, most of the schools in North Lake, they are served by Northwest ISD. They are in the top 15 percentile of Texas schools. The public, it's a very large school district and it's a very good one, has a great reputation. This is the school district that many teachers love to work at because they get typically get a higher pay, they're treated well, and the teachers just, they, they speak very highly of Northwest ISD. Also real fast, uh, I wanted to mention that we just launched our Texas, moving to Texas tour company. So if you want, North Lake is a feature in these Texas tours on the North Fort Worth side. Right now we only have two tours, but keep checking back because we will be developing more tours. We just wanna get these two launched and one of them is a North Fort Worth tour that will touch on North Lake. So go to uh, movingtotexastours.com to book your tour. All right, so let's talk about these North Lake communities. Um, and these are in no particular order. I just think they're the top ones right now. Just know that many more communities will be coming, okay? But let's start first with Canyon Falls. Now Canyon Falls actually borders Flower Mound and Argyle in which part of the neighborhood, so this one neighborhood, Canyon Falls, falls in North Lake, Argyle, and Flower Mound. So definitely watch the school zones. Argyle does have fantastic schools, but again, don't write off 
uh, Northwest ISD because it's at 15 percentile because they're very good as well. Uh, but this is a beautiful neighborhood and if you live here, it's just a short drive to the grocery store. The motto here in Canyon Falls is new homes with room to roam. Even the dogs have places to roam here in Canyon Falls. Take a look. So Canyon Falls has 400 acres of open space with lots of trees and rolling terrain and the trails, they're spectacular. So it's a well-designed neighborhood with lots of wide open areas to enjoy, especially if you have dogs, um, if you love riding bike, jogging, great neighborhood. So what I like about Canyon Falls is it's such a community neighborhood. In fact, I will say that probably about almost every single one of these neighborhoods because North Lake, their developments are geared for community. And so if you like riding bike, jogging, you have a dog, there's a dog park, uh, many people meet up at the pool and your kids can meet other friends in the pool. So in the pool, at the pool <laughs> or in the pool. So it's just a great family friendly neighborhood and it's beautifully designed. It's kind of a Texas, a good old Texas design. Home prices in Canyon Falls start at $375,000 on up to $1.2 million and the median home price is about $700,000. Next up is Pecan Square. Uh, I remember before Pecan Square when they just had their ad on a website, I was like, oh, this is the most beautiful neighborhood. It's so cute, it's very quaint, and it has its own like downtown area. I love Pecan Square. In fact, their motto is welcome home to your new small town. So this community, it's built out as if it's a small town. And one thing I also love is even here on a winter day, I'm looking around and there are tons of kids just out and about playing. The square, it's so cute. It has a main hall, pool, playground. I even saw kids on teeter-totters. There's an amenity center with basketball courts, a pavilion, and Pecan Square hosts many, many events. There's an on-site community director. Even when we were out there just filming, the community director was talking with another person about where all the food trucks were gonna go. So they're always planning events for this community. So if you're looking for community, this one and the next uh, community I'm talking about are super hot, super hot for community. And they are still building new homes in Pecan Square. Another thing that makes this neighborhood really nice is that if you work at home, it's, it's great because it has all the half gigabyte Wi-Fi, the ring doorbell, the echo show. There are so many uh, smart home features that you can work from home quite easily here. Homes in Pecan Square go from $345,000 on up to $1 million, and the median home price is $542,000. The students that live in Pecan Square go to Northwest ISD again and eventually it will have its own elementary, middle, and high school with the stadium right here in the community. This neighborhood, it was actually named the Community of the Year by Dallas Builders Association. And then just down the street is our next neighborhood. It's with the same developers and it's called Harvest. 
Harvest is still building, however, they started before Pecan Square, again, the same developers of Hillwood. Harvest is a state-of-the-art neighborhood, and it combines farm living with it. So if you want the farm lifestyle, but you don't want to live on an actual farm, Harvest is a great option because they, they have uh, farmers on site. They are growing crops. You can actually rent a cute little raised bed, I guess you would say it, and, and, and plant your own. And, and there's a community around it. It's, I just love it so much. I, but I do love fresh vegetables, fresh produce. So maybe I'm a, you know, maybe I should go move there. You could kind of call it the agri-hood for like agriculture slash neighborhood. We are at Harvest, which is a great community to put your roots down in. In fact, I'm standing in front of the original farmhouse that the developers decided to keep inside is a really cute and tasty coffee shop. Harvest has an actual farmer that helps oversee a working commercial farm and the farm serves local farmers markets and restaurants. Kids are encouraged to get their hands dirty and, and become mini farmers. In the nearby amenity center with a playground and pool, it looks like the perfect spot for families to hang out. It's a really well thought out neighborhood. Here in Harvest, the median home price is 512,000 and with home prices starting at 425 to $825,000. So Harvest has townhomes, patio homes, and single family homes, and single family rentals. There are two resort style pools, outdoor areas, a gathering hall, a dog park, and so much more. And a small shopping center, it's going in right next door nearby so you can have some convenience at your fingertips. And more retail is coming soon. Students in Harvest attend either Northwest or Argyle schools. Again, you can't go wrong with either one. And then just down the street, just a little bit, we have the Highlands of North Lake. So if you're looking for a luxury home, and I do venture to guess that even more luxury homes will be coming into this area, but this is one of the beautiful new luxury home neighborhoods. So developers call this sophisticated country living and there's 222 estate sized lots here and about 50 acres of parks. There's a two mile hike and bike trail and it winds throughout the community. Here in the highlands of North Lake, homes range from about 825,000 on up to 1.8 million. You can build a new home here and they're on one acre lots. Take a look at this beautiful new home being built. Again, the students who live here attend Northwest schools, but this is a beautiful neighborhood. Just. Mm, I love it. If you want that like modern farmhouse, this is the neighborhood. Next up is the Ridge. They are still building new homes at the Ridge if you're looking for a new home, but you don't necessarily want to fight like they do in Frisco. <laughs> or prosper, then you may want to try North Lake at the Ridge. We're at the Ridge just two minutes from I-35. And let me tell you, we are at the Ninja course here if you have any of those athletes in your home. And um, about 1,100 homes will be built here. So if you're looking for a new home, this is the spot with some really cool amenities. So take a look at this amenity center. This is something for all ages. We have pool, a fitness, a fire pit, even a yoga lawn. It's very unique and it includes four acres of amenity space. Here in the Ridge, there are new homes available to be built and prices range about 525 on up to 850,000. Now students who live at the Ridge attend Argyle schools. And let me just say again, it's a really, it's a really cute neighborhood. And 
last but not least, I want to highlight a neighborhood that's coming soon. I don't know how soon, but soon enough. <laughs> if you are a few years out and moving to Texas, you may want to consider this neighborhood because Hillwood is such a great developer in the North Fort Worth area. Um, you may want to just know that this is coming soon, just like Frisco has um, the PGA Frisco Fields coming soon. Hunter Ranch is the next hot neighborhood coming to North Lake. This will be the next like big to do. So we are right across the street from North Lake. Like this, the boundary line is right here, but I have to show you the next hottest thing coming to this area. It's called Hunter Ranch. There's going to be 6,000 homes right here by Hillwood Development. So lot prep will begin later this year for a 3,200 acre property. And one unique land feature is Pilot Knob. It's a natural rock outcropping and it's going to be preserved. So the hilltop was used by Indian scouts and a hideaway for outlaw, Sam Bass. And developers plan to keep about a thousand acres open and natural. They're already talking to about eight to 10 builders prepping for this really, really nice neighborhood. So check back with us on updates about Hunter's Ranch. So finally, what I can foresee happening in North, like I, I, was, I was doing all kinds of research on all the cities trying to figure out what's the next hot spot in on the Fort Worth side because Dallas has so many great hot spots and most of them are North Dallas that I was like, what's up and coming for Fort Worth? And I feel like out of all the city research I did, guys, many hours, North Lake has the greatest opportunity, the greatest potential for several reasons. They have the largest uh, square miles, with the greatest opportunity for population growth, the most opportunity for businesses to come in uh, versus some of the smaller cities like Hazlitt. They're so limited that even though it's, you know, it's a country town, it's probably gonna remain a country town. So North Lake probably has the most, uh, the biggest possibility and opportunities for entertainment to come to the area. So definitely check out North Lake. Again, the negative is the freaking traffic right now. Um, <laughs> but if you uh, work from home and you don't have to commute a whole lot, check it out. Also, many people that live in Keller or North Fort Worth, they're actually moving out to North Lake uh, for a little bit more home for your money. And, and some people don't care. I mean, they don't care that they have to commute. So have at it, have at it. So do what, do what's best for your family. Again, if you were looking at moving to Texas, then fill out my dream home questionnaire in the link below and you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one Zoom consultation with one of my most amazing agents. Also, don't forget to book a tour if you are coming for your discovery trip to narrow down where to live and, and, and uh, let us know if, um, if there are certain cities that you would really love to see on a tour. I'd love the, to hear those comments and feedback. Thanks for watching.